The issue of granting post-retirement contracts has generated debate in Ghana over the last few years. Ghana's constitution allows public officers who reach the age of 60 to be engaged for a limited period of not more than two years at a time, but not exceeding a total of five years. In August 2020, President Akufado granted contract extension to the then Ghana Revenue Authority Commissioner General, Dr. Amisha Daewusu Amwa, which expired in October 2023. Appearing before the Public Accounts Committee in January this year, Dr. Amisha Dai Owusu Amwa admitted that he had been working without contract. The Finance Ministry in its 2022 budget announced the suspension of financial clearance for post-retirement contracts. According to the ministry, such requests can only be granted in cases where the skills of the retiring officers are in short supply. Teacher unions objected to the post-retirement contract extension granted to the Deputy Director of Management Services at the Ghana Education Service. They believe other people are competent to do the job. The inconsistency raises eyebrows. Um, one is expecting that these decisions should be seen to be transparent, fair and equitable. Uh, but considering the way Mr. Daniel Domlevo was hounded out of office, um, it, it really requires some explanation, uh, some clarity. Uh, how, how come we have a situation where uh, long before he's even supposed to leave, we are being told he's been given a post-retirement uh, contract? It really is questionable what exactly is going on. What is the criteria he's using to arrive at this? Because it does not appear to be fair, just, nor equitable. Auditor General Johnson Ekuamwa Esiedu is the latest to be granted an extension, although he retires in a few weeks. But for the co-chair of the Citizens' Movement Against Corruption, Edem Senanu, this raises questions about transparency, especially at the way the former Auditor General, Yao Domlevo, was treated. For so many other reasons, it's just not... Uh, in the best interest of public policy, where the immediate predecessor, a certain decision was taken, which in June or July 2023, the Supreme Court ruled as unconstitutional. Uh, and then we have a situation where, in spite of the fact that clearly for that post, we would have several individuals with the competencies that could occupy it. So the reasoning behind maintaining a particular individual it's absolutely not clear in this instance. Adam Senan was also concerned about the work output of Johnson Ikuya Moesiedu, according to his predecessor. The positions that we occupy as public officers, that persons occupy, are potentially at the whims and caprices of who is in power, and they could decide when to move you or not, uh, that security is not guaranteed, that merit and working hard is not rewarded necessarily, uh, that there is no clarity. These decisions could be arbitrary, could be capricious, could be illogical, and nothing can be done about it. It is not a really very uh, promising and progressive impression that is being left.